What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming, where we take gaming and fashion and mash it together like it's on Play-Doh. I'm Macho, aka Dirty Red, and this is my channel. So today, we got another sneak review for y'all. We're going to be taking a look at the LeBron 9 Low in the reverse Liverpool colorway. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get into the sneak review. To the actual shoe itself and the shoe box. Let me give you a quick rundown of the history and inspiration to this shoe. So the original Liverpools, which was released in September 1st of 2012, um, they have the color of the actual team. And if you don't know what Liverpool is, Liverpool is a soccer team. Uh, their abbreviations is LFC, Liverpool Football Club. So their original colors is like a red with a little teal in it. And that's the original Liverpool that was released, like I said, in 2012. So you got the reverse Liverpools, which are just a flip of the color. These were released September 21st, 2022. So they're just having like a little anniversary. So that's why I chose to do this around this time because this has been about a year since the shoe has been released. But anyway, these retail you at like 185 original. Nike was having a good sale. I've been eyeing these for a minute and was able to get them for like 67, 70 bucks. Um, they had like a big sale going on this past week. So I was able to cop them from Nike. And so you got your box right here. Um, I went with the nine and a half. You always want to go up a size, a half a size on LeBron's because they just fit tight around the toe. But you got your Nike LeBron nine low, new green, black, action red. See that right there. Um, check out the shoe box, nothing too special. You got the LeBron logo at the top. You got LeBron on the side, on both sides. Then when you open, you know, it's just a typical LeBron nine box. Got your LeBron logo on both sides. Let's see if I can get that around. So, that's pretty much it. I haven't even had a chance to wear these, so these will be my first time putting them on. So, yeah, that's it. Got your LeBron 9, reverse Liverpool. We're going to get into the shoe right now. All right, so just taking a look at the shoe, man. You got a predominantly black shoe uh, with just some synthetic materials. And then you see the hints of the green and red that just kind of just cover the shoe. This is a really dope sneaker. Let me put the box down and, and just kind of like let you eyeball the shoe itself. So like I said, you got some synthetic materials. You got this mesh that makes this shoe very breathable. This is a basketball shoe. You don't want it. You don't want it sweating. You don't want your feet sweating in it. But if you just take a look at it, like I said, the, the, the upper, it's all black pretty much. You can see the, see through the mesh that you see all of that black. And then you just got your hints of the red, which is the Liverpool color. And then you got the teal. So on the original Liverpool, this whole shoe is just red with hints of teal. Where you got the reverse, it's all teal with just basically hints of red. So if you see on the inside of the shoe, you got your LeBron logo right there. Then you got your LeBron signature on the tongue. You got your swoosh, black and red. You got your tabs that are red. And you got another swoosh right here. Then you just pretty much got a whole mesh type shoe. Like I said, this is all like synthetic, but then you got this mesh material with the black on the inside, predominantly a black shoe. Then on the back, check out that logo, that Liverpool logo, LFC, that stands for the Liverpool Football Club. It's a soccer club. So that's what's inspired this shoe. You check out the laces on it. Um, you got your LeBron James. I don't know if you can see that LeBron James logo right there. Well, not logo, but you got the uh, his signature on the uh, laces. And then right here, you got another LeBron logo. And let's see if there's any difference in the shoe. Sometimes his shoes are different. These are not, these are pretty much identical. Like I said, you got your LFC on the back. Liverpool Football Club, you put your all around Air Max unit. This is the one thing I love about this shoe. Just the LeBron 9 is just the, the Air Max unit that goes all the way around the sneaker. 
red. I love just being able to put that shoe up and you can just see right through it. Then taking a look at that bottom, man. Look at that crispy, clean red, white with the black and white LeBron logo. And then you can see the Liverpool. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a, a Liverpool logo. The, uh, I think it's the, the, the uh, it's like a little bird, whatever the little bird logo is. So um, let's try these on. Pretty much gave you a rundown of the shoe besides the shoe look. We're gonna try these on and I'm gonna give you my final opinion on them. Should you cop these or should you not these? I'm out. Okay, so in conclusion, we've done the unfeed, um, copper knot, zero to 10 these. I did do my little research on them. They are actually retailing at 190 and I paid $71. Nike had like this special sale this past week and I was able to grab them. Um, what do I rate these from zero to 10? I'm gonna get this, because of the color, this is a specific shoe that you kinda gotta wear with specific colors. So I'm gonna probably get this like a seven. Um, cop or not, these are definitely a cop for 71 bucks. Man, Nike got a sale going on right now, man. Go to Nike and grab, you know, all of these underpriced shoes. These are retailing originally at 190. These are were very highly anticipated when they were going to be released or when they were released last year. I don't know why they're so low um, on the price. I do know the Liverpool, the original ones that are red, those are running like 350. So um, I guess you just gotta get this shoe. Go ahead and get it now while you can. Give it a little time. Um, like I said, I believe in getting LeBron simply because when he retires, right now you can grab LeBron's, you know, you could grab them at whatever rate you want to because they're not really a highly anticipated shooter. Just like the Kobe's are hard to get once Kobe was retired, it's the same thing with LeBron. So go ahead and get you as many of LeBron's as you can because they're going to spike. They're going to go up once you retire. So I try to grab them every time I see them. It doesn't matter what the shoe is. So I definitely recommend you cop these. These are definitely a hard cop. But because of the color, because it's hard, this is a specific shoe that you kind of got to match up with how you dress. Um, for me, I probably would just rock a white t-shirt and maybe some Nike shorts or something like that, something very comfortable, and just walk around with these on. So um, if y'all enjoyed the video, man, um, you know, like up, comment, make sure y'all subscribe. And also, man, I, I don't know, I just caught that while I was, that embroidery of the, uh, the LeBron James logo right there. I think that's hard. LeBron's a very detailed shoes. Everything on his shoe means something. Um, that's which is a little bit different from Jordan's, which I by a favor LeBron because he he kind of puts his creativity in his shoe. His shoe really um, mimics who he is as a person. Every shoe that they do with the different colors mimics something that he believes in, not just a color that they trying to sell you when it comes to the Jordan. So that's why I'm a big fan of the LeBron's. So thank y'all for checking out my video. I'm out.